and welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be live swatching the Comeback Collection from 1850 Artisan Polish. Give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, press the subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any of my future live swatching videos. Oh, and while I have you, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm super active there. I post nail swatches daily. I'll put my handle right here and then I'll also link it in the description box. So Nikki over at 1850 Artisan Polish was kind enough to send these over for review, but of course all thoughts and opinions are my own. So a little bit of information about the Comeback Collection. 1850 Artisan Polish took a brief hiatus from producing products, but now they're back in the game with these six gorgeous polishes. They also came out with a quick dry top coat, which I'll be wearing over all my swatch photos in today's video. As always, I'll be saving my very favorite polish for last, so make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss it. Following my swatches today, I'll include a little bit of information about 1850 Artisan Polish as a brand. All right, let's get into the swatches. Blue Skies Ahead, which is described as a blue to teal multi-chrome with the added sparkle of holographic microflakes and a sprinkling of rose gold fuchsia green shifting multi-chrome flakes. This one to me flips almost blue to turquoise and a little less blue to teal. The flip is a little bit brighter than a teal, I feel. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme. Um, but this is one of those polishes that just makes you happy to look at. It reminds me of a day where it's poured rain and the clouds have cleared away and reveal a bright blue sky and rainbow. To me, the flakies really remind me of a rainbow and I love it. So you can see the brush is quite narrow with these polishes, but since it's also very long, it holds a good amount of polish and I didn't really have any trouble with application. I was impressed with this one on the first coat. It was quite opaque, but went ahead with a second coat, which totally made my nail line disappear. All of the polishes, in fact, from the Comeback Collection were two coaters for me. Although if your nails are longer, you may need three coats. So here in the flashlight, you can see that gorgeous turquoise teal flip. So beautiful. And outdoors, I mean, tell me this doesn't look like rainbows on your nails, like a sky with rainbows. I love it. It's giving me Lisa Frank vibes. I'm here for it. <laughs> Pictured are two coats of blue skies ahead. Next up, we have Persistence, which is described as a bronze-leaning burgundy with a multi with a multitude, excuse me, of multi-chrome pink, green, gold, and fuchsia pink gold microflake shimmers. In person, this one really struck me as a beautiful chocolatey brown metallic polish. Um, I agree with the bronze description. And up close, you can see the pink micro shimmers very vividly. The formula on this one was a bit thicker than the formula on the rest of the polishes in this collection, which had me concerned that it would take a while to dry, but actually all of the polishes in this collection surprised me by how quickly they dried, this one included. Here on the second coat, again, you can see we have total opacity, no nail line is visible. And outdoors, it looks just stunning. I'm going to be wearing this one a lot for the rest of fall this year. Pictured are two coats of persistence with a glossy top coat. Next we have Happy Accident, which is described as a deep indigo jelly packed with linear holographic shimmer. And oh my goodness, look at it now. Whew, this is the polish that changed my mind about purples. So I thought purple was just a color I couldn't really pull off because my undertones are very warm. Um, but anyway, this one made me love purples. It's, you'll see in a second, it is just gorgeous. But this one is limited edition. It was actually an accident. You know, it's name, Happy Accident. So if you like it, you should make sure you pick it up before it sells out because it will not be restocked. So take a look at this formula. It's a jelly, it goes on super smooth, very easy to apply. A little bit sheer, but you know, it's a jelly. What do you expect? <laughs> and here on the second coat, you can see it builds up quite nicely. And take a look at that hollow, people. 
Do you see why I love this polish? Oh, man. And then seeing it outdoors just takes me by surprise. It literally takes my breath away. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, I love this one. Pictured are two coats of Happy Accident with a glossy top coat. Next up, we have Ambitious, which is described as a blue-green jelly base with red gold shifting shimmer and gold shimmer. So to me, the base in this one looks more green than blue. It actually strikes me as an emerald green. And look how bold that gold, it almost looks orange, uh, shimmer is. It is striking, striking. So again, you can see on that first coat, it goes on very smooth. It's also a jelly, but it's a little bit more opaque than Happy Accident was. It self levels so nicely as well. Here on the second coat, you can see the gold shimmer really gives it a lit from within appearance. It looks like my nails are glowing. I like it. <laughs> and then outside, it's even more beautiful. Pictured are two coats of Ambitious with a glossy top coat. Next, we have Endless Possibilities, which is described as a royal purple jelly base with red, green, shifting shimmer, and copper shimmer. So in indoor light, this one really does look purple and you can see the copper shimmer but once you get outdoors you can see the red and green shifts as well so you can see how strong that copper shimmer is and almost appears to be pink to me like a rose gold color beautiful so once again just an incredible formula on these jelly polishes it goes on so smoothly applies like a dream and on the second coat, we get full opacity. The base is built up nicely. And take a look at that shimmer in the flashlight. And outdoors, it just shines. Gorgeous. It almost looks violet, like a violet base. Another beautiful one for fall. Pictured are two coats of Endless Possibilities with a glossy top coat. And my final polish, my very favorite, is Optimistic, which is described as a raspberry pink red multi-chrome base with stunning pink gold micro glitter and gold glitter. So this reminded me a lot of, a, of some polishes that I've seen released this holiday season. I feel like this kind of metallic red has been very popular, but this one is just a little bit more complex than most of the metallic reds I see on the market. I really like the raspberry pink flip in this one, and you can see up close those gorgeous micro glitters. Just make it a little bit more interesting. Once again, an incredible formulation on this one. It goes on so smooth and buttery. Here on the second coat, you can see it builds up well. And I really like the names that Nikki came up with for these polishes in her collection. They are so uplifting and I feel like, honestly, everybody can use that in their lives right now with, you know, 2020 being 2020. <laughs> so look how it just glistens and gleams outside in the sunlight. It looks like I have a filter on it. So beautiful. I'm gonna wear this one all December. I love it. Pictured are two coats of Optimistic with a glossy top coat. <sighs> How gorgeous were those polishes? Which were standouts for you? Let me know in the comments. So a little bit about 1850 Artisan Polish as a brand. Nikki established 1850 on January 18th, 2018, a day after my birthday. And they got their name from the year that California officially became a state because that's where 1850 is based out of, the state of California. In fact, their polishes are inspired by the majestic landscapes seen in California, the mountains and the sea. All of 1850's polishes are hand mixed, vegan and cruelty free, so they're not tested on animals. All of her polishes are five free, which means they're free of formaldehyde, tooling, dibutyl phthalate, 
formaldehyde resin, and camphor. Currently, they only ship to the continental United States. They have polishes in a variety of formulations, including creams, thermals, multi-chromes, flakies, hollows, and shimmers. All of their polishes, regardless of formulation, cost $10, and that includes the state sales tax. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!